Hey, Andy here with the first of a bunch of quick conference tournament previews as college basketball rolls over to that magical month of March. Real quick before we get going, please subscribe to the channel if you want to see the next 31 of these over the next couple of weeks. But right away, we will start first off with the NEC, the Northeastern Conference fires up with one game tonight. While it is just an 8-9 matchup and the real action does start Wednesday, the NEC does have the distinction of being the first conference to start their tournaments this season during the regular season. It was Wagner's year until it wasn't. They suffered an injury to Elijah Ford late in the year, scuffled down the stretch. It allowed Bryant to grab the one seed. And honestly, Long Island is probably the team going into the tournament the hottest with a six game winning streak heading into Wednesday's quarterfinal matchup with Sacred Heart. If you do take a look at the bracket here, you can see the first of the many idiosyncrasies of tournament time. We are going to do some reseeding after the quarterfinals. The one seed will not just play the team on the top of the bracket that wins. They will play the lowest remaining seed in the semifinals with the two remaining teams playing at the gym of the higher seeded team. So reseeding, no extra buys or anything. But again, the higher seed will host every game in the tournament. All the games are played at any seed gyms, no neutral sites at all. Real quick, looking at the odds, you can see, like I said, Wagner's late season swoon has given Bryant the top seed. They're plus 105, Wagner being plus 190 with LIU and Mount St. Mary's rounding out the top four. The rest of them are pretty big long shots, including Central Connecticut, 500 to one, probably not going there. Uh, as for me, quick bet, small bet, small flyer on the Long Island University Sharks at six to one, maybe even a money line rollover for me. Uh, they, you know, they've been one of the better teams down the stretch. They were able to beat Bryant a few weeks ago. They took Wagner to overtime when they were at full strength. This isn't the same Wagner team. You know, it's just a balanced team that plays a fast pace, can beat Bryant at their own game, and they have a nice big front court that can compete with anybody in this conference. So. I think I'm getting into business with the Sharks at six to one. I'll check you back here for the next one, which will be the Horizon League.